Today, I'm here to show you exactly how to tune the Honda Trail 90 carburetor. Now, you're going to need a small flathead screwdriver and the knowledge in this video. That's about it. There are a couple prerequisites though. This is about a stock Honda, which is a, uh, a Kian carburetor. It's the stock size, it's got the stock jets, it has the stock airbox, and the engine has great compression. All right, so that's a prerequisite that everything needs to be stock if you wanna follow this instruction. And then for ignition, you have to have a good strong battery because that charges the coil which of course powers the spark plug. Let's dig right into it. Let's get close up and I'll show you exactly how to tune your Trail 90 to start, idle, and run perfectly. Let's go. This is your choke lever. Um, no choke is down. Yes choke is up. And you never ever start this engine with actual full choke because you basically close the air completely off. So you have to crack it to about there. Okay, choke. You have an idle speed screw here, and you have an idle air screw here. And then the needle inside here, which I'll show in a bit. Stay tuned, I'll show you the needle. The needle has multiple positions, right? So let's talk about the circuits of the carburetor really quickly so that you understand what we're approaching here, and then we'll, we'll, we'll get into the actual tuning. Real quick chat about circuits. A chart that I will show you now. So just think of it in terms of three general areas. You have idle, you have wide open throttle, and then you have everything in the middle. And you tune differently for each, each segment. So for idle, you have an idle speed adjuster, and then the idle air valve adjusts the fuel to air mixture at idle. What you do when you've finished cleaning and rebuilding your carburetor is you put these screws all the way in. And then you go by the specs of where to start and you unscrew them by counting your way out. So the idle screw here is, I've got it at 3.4 turns out. So what you would do here is, is you would say, this is the position that's half a turn, that's one turn, right? Half a turn, one turn. So you go all the way in and then you count your way out. Same with the idle air screw. Um, mine is set for 1.25 or one and a quarter turn. And you would go all the way down and then you'd come out one and then go a quarter turn more and you'd have it set at the, the factory baseline. All right, so let's say we've got it running. We're gonna live demo this in just a second. Got it running, it's idling a little fast, that's good. You're gonna turn the idle air screw slowly in one direction and take note if it slows down or speeds up. If it speeds up, it means you're making the, the mixture better. So you're, you're going, okay, faster, 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 that's good. And then as you exceed that limit, it will start to slow down again. So then you wanna come back to where you were, to that fastest point. Now you know you have the air mixture just right at idle. I'm going to turn the idle screw. Turn this screw one way and see if I can get it to speed up. Right away, see? See that? That's not bad, that's pretty good. So you can see how much of a difference this makes. And if you're down at this slow of a speed and you start doing the idle air screw, it's almost impossible, it'll stall right away. 
So you've got to speed the idle up pretty good. Then you adjust your air screw to get it to the fastest speed. Then you can slow your idle down. And because the mixture is still correct, it'll stay running nice. How beautiful is that? Now we want to test mid, mid throttle performance. We want to test mid throttle performance. So mid throttle is somewhere in between. So you have the needle is tapered. And as you raise the needle out of the Venturi, you raise the needle to allow more fuel to flow and you raise the cylinder to allow more air to flow. And you can change that ratio by lowering or raising the needle. It has the clip with those little teeth at the top. I'll show a picture. And you can, you can raise and lower the needle in relation to the cylinder. So as you start to open the throttle, where that needle starts and stays with the cylinder, it changes your, your mixture. With an idling here, we want to give it throttle and rev it and see how it responds. See if it stumbles or if it just comes to life. See how there's no stumbling? From idle. That's how I know I have the needle just right because as I open the throttle, it gets the exactly perfect amount of gas with the exact perfect amount of air at the same time and it runs great. If that needle height is wrong, it'll stumble. It'll be like, oh, I'm running out of gas. It's like way too much air or the other way around. So you have to change it. Let's show you how to change it and then you'll have the tools you need. So right here is your, your throttle and you might need pliers, you might not, but you loosen this and you've got your cylinder in here. So here's your needle here and now this, this uh, is like the cable here and what you have to do is you have to, you have to pull the, the spring back and hold it like this and that'll give you some slack in the cable right there and you'll be able to get the cable to loosen up right there see you'll be able to get the cable to loosen up and slide around and out so there's a little a little spring inside and now with that spring out, the needle can, can come out. So here's your cylinder. And then there's your needle with the different, uh, different adjustments. And you, you simply use uh, needle nose pliers here. You take the clip off and then move the clip. Just make sure you hold this all together when you put it back in. And then I've got a gasket here. Not too tight. I don't use tools on this. It's got a rubber gasket. And if you use tools on it, then it's so tight and you risk stripping out all this aluminum. Operate your throttle just to make sure that it works smoothly. And uh, you should be good to go. Don't forget there's bonus footage for Cold Start right now. And after that, subscribe to the channel, like, thumbs up, send a comment if you have a question or uh, you want to say something like, hey, that was a cool video. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. You will need a Honda Trail 90. Step one, turn the fuel on. Fuel on. Let that bowl fill up if it was empty. Okay, so here's your, here's your choke off. Here's your full choke. And then there's like a little crack of, crack of choke right there. Key on, you need a nice bright green neutral light. That tells you the battery is nice and strong. And you're gonna give a little crack of throttle. Here's off throttle. Here's the play in the throttle. And you wanna crack it just a little bit. Okay, and remember, subscribe to this YouTube channel, Remotorcycle, where we don't fake kickstarting. You get to see it from start to finish. If this goes horribly wrong, you'll know. But I've got my choke a little less. I've got my throttle cracked, key on. We should be ready to go. There you go.
See, I took away some choke and it stalled. So I'm gonna put about a little bit of my choke back, kick it over, let it warm up some more. Exactly how it should run. Good luck! 